Hello everyone, welcome to SI Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another interview question which is asked in LTI Mandri. So the question is here. Okay, you can see the input. Input is having three columns. User ID, visit date, page visited. So if you see right, user ID, triple one, here one, 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 two, one. Okay, when it comes to visit date and page visited. Okay, the major thing which they wanted output is nothing but it. How many people are visited from home? Okay, how many people, how, what is the count of visited home? What is the count of visited payment? Okay, what is the visited of management? So here, if you see, right, the pages, whatever the pages which we have, home page, payment page, management page, like again, home page, home page. Now, if you observe here, right, so 28, home page, one time visited, 28, home page, one more time visited, 28, home page, one more time visited, which means on 28, 28, you see three times home persistent. But what about the payment in 28? There are no, there are no payment visited, payment page visited on 28th. Yes, as well as management page also. So we can see here 00. zero. And when it comes to 29th, only one time payment page visited. Now you can see 29th, you are getting one time pay, payment page visited. And when it comes to 30th, 30th only management page is visited. Now what they wanted like this they want output like this they want output how we can solve this particular scenario so very simple generally if you wanted to get if you wanted to go ahead and get it this kind of things generally what you are going to do you are going ahead and you are see here i have already created the this particular thing let me run it up this and i have already given the input same thing i am going to post it as part of the video as well you can go ahead and you can copy paste and you can practice it so this is the Oracle database which I'm choosing here. So according to you, you can change your data types. Now let's go ahead and do this. So generally what we are going to do, select. Now in this case, what we are going to do immediately, you may think of it. Sir, can we do group by? Okay. Can we do group by page visited? And then on top of it, what you are going to do? Count of. Okay. Count of. Count of what? You want it? visited date right based on the visit date you want it you want it what you want page visitor so count of page visitor so you are going to do like this so generally people do think like this and immediately okay immediately what is the output which we are going to get it we are going to see so group by group by visit date let's see let's see the output then after that we'll go ahead and we think of it so you are going to get like this but i don't want like this I wanted to segregate. I wanted to segregate how many people visited home page, how many people visited payment page, and how many people visited management. Suppose if I don't get any value for payment, okay, I should keep as a zero. Okay, if I don't get any value for home, I should get zero. So I wanted to segregate. I wanted to do like this. Okay, so how we can do that? So same whatever we have it here, right? Group by visited date, but here the logic which you have to write it up how you can write it up okay <coughs> sorry guys so how we can do that very simple okay we can use it here sum of okay sum okay case okay okay instead of sum first let write it up case okay case when okay case when now what do you want you want it whatever it is whatever it is the visit phase visited that phase you want it okay simply what you can do Page visited, okay, equals to whom? Okay, let me go ahead and take it up this. Okay, let me take it up here where page visited equals to home. Then go ahead and populate as one. Okay, you need to count one. Yeah, else, okay, else, or you can count it, count it as zero and you can keep it. And you can keep it like that. Okay, case when page visited, okay, page visited. What do you want? You want it equals to equals to payment. Okay, you can take it up payment here. Okay, you can take it up payment here. Then one else zero, which means what it is going to happen. I'll explain you. So here, when you see home, then you are going to and you are going to get one. If the the page visitor is home, then you are going to count it. Else, you are going to keep it as a zero. So same with payment. Now same with you have to do management also. Management page also you have to do that. So how you can do that? You can change it here as management. So what what they wanted? What they wanted exactly? 
they wanted this as a they wanted this as a count okay the output which they wanted at what home count payment count management count home page count payment payment manage, payment page count management count now let's keep it home city payment city and management city how you are going to do that alias columns you have to do that but here what they are asking they are not asking you to give it like one or two so they want it count sum okay how many times it has been visited total how many times it has been visited so which function we have to use whenever you wanted to do total you are going to and you are going to use the sum so you here you can apply sum okay then you are going to, whatever you wanted to decide decide output you are going to get it so this is the way you have to do first three three rows okay so here you can do that here you can do that here also you can do that so you can do that but what you what we want it we want alias column names what are those alias column names home city payment city management city so last one management underscore cd okay here as okay what is that payment cd okay here also you can pass it as home city okay home underscore cd now you can run it on this query this query you can get whatever the exact output now you can see you can compare it this output versus whatever the expected output both are same so this is the way you have to solve it so simply what i have done so whenever you wanted to count only home then use the case statement and you can populate as one else you can populate as zero so now that it is not going to count the rest of the rest of the pages same with other also so after that what you are doing once you have made it this condition then on top of it what you have to do you have to go ahead and you have to total it so to do total always aggregate function which you are going to use when you are using aggregate function make sure you are going to use the group by function this is the way you have to solve it please do subscribe and share the channel with others and keep the bell notification we are going to start the azure series as well thank you thank you so much for supporting thank you guys